I never would have thought that she would have been a scammer, but hey, we're here now. Honestly, my motto, I wouldn't resell it to my customers. They do not deserve no worn clothes that you don't worn and partied and walked around and went to a market. Thanks, it's on the beat. and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi i'm sin and welcome to my channel and before i jump into this story time first off you already know hair from sin city beauty this is the wig that i wore for my gender reveal i had it in a kind of foot like a a little top knot thing for my what is it called? my scrunchie but this is a five by five hd lace um unit i did not custom make it i got it from my vendor already made and then i just customized it i got a fix on my part and stuff because you know i wore it in the ponytail so i didn't you know do that so that's why you know it looks like that but yeah this is how it's been since then and that was saturday and i've been wearing this hair since saturday till today which is tuesday so y'all know good quality i'll have some on hand and some other hair on hand very soon like wigs not bundles but wigs because you know it's wig season or whatever but yeah i just wanted to put it in there real quick that's where my hair is from so today's video is a story time and it is a story time about how one of my brand ambassadors real life scammed me for free clothes to wear into that city <laughs> and <laughs> let, let me just get into the story time before i get into like the details or whatever so before i get into the story time i kind of got to give a little background so you guys can understand some of the things that she you know said to throw out there or whatever so oh yeah and i'm not gonna put like her her actual name into it just because i just i mean in my heart of hearts and soul of souls, I want to just because of how much she really tried to play with me. But, you know, I'm not. So, for this video sakes, we're just going to call her Amani. We're going to call her Amani. So, number one, Amani, she is... I have an old friend that I used to be friends with. No love lost. We don't hate each other. So... There's no, there's no beef or nothing. It's just that we fell out for reasons. And this is her cousin. Amani is the old friend's cousin. So that's just a little background so I understand when we get to that part of the story. But, so I was looking for brand ambassadors at one point in time or models. And I had put a Google form out where you could fill out to be, you know, a possible brand ambassador for my business. See, see the beauty, she did not know. So she was one of them and I, at first, I ain't gonna lie, I was really like, I might not work with her just because of, you know, that right there. And I don't want no problems in my business because as I state, if it's business, trust me, it'll never be personal. So I was just like, I just don't, I don't want it to get personal. But then I said, you know what? Let me give her the benefit of the doubt. I'm pretty sure that she, you know, she can be about her business. So let me give her, you know, that chance to be about her business. Big mistake. But anyway, so... She put in her thing. I look at her picture. She, you know, put up nice pictures for me to look at. She has all the social media that I want, you know, my brand ambassadors to have and be active. Because I have her on Snap. I have her on Facebook. And I also have her on Instagram. Because she actually ordered from me in the past and posted pictures. So I'm like, okay, I can work with her and send her, you know, items in exchange for promo. So I sent, so, you know, okay. I sent her a DM on Facebook, which, you know, it'll be on the screen as well, but I'm reading it on my business phone. So this was in June. This might've been either, I think this was either June 17th or June 18th. The date isn't up here, but it says, basically I messaged her and was like, hey, I would like to talk to you about being a part of my PR team. She was like, okay, you know, we could talk. So I messaged her saying, okay, great. I love your look and your style and the way that you take pics. I would like to send you four clothing items of your choice and create you a discount code. In return, I ask for four separate social media posts tagging Sin City Beauty and including your discount code. After the first month, I'll check back in with you and let you know if i like to continue based off the pictures and posts. If everything looks good, once a month, you'll receive you'll continue to receive PR packages in exchange for tag posts. I like to work with you on IG, Snap, and Facebook. Let me know how that sounds and if you have any questions. 
Okay. So I thought that, you know, was self-explanatory enough to you four items once you get it please within the month post them and next month we'll have a review and we'll talk if i want to continue or not and post each one on each social media like <laughs> i thought that that, that was self-explanatory so she said that sounds great to me and i would love to be a part of your team and do you need any of my information so the way i did i let them choose their items she chose a hundred dollars worth of items and got free shipping and no argument i sent her you know the items over so sent her the items and once she made the order, one of the items that she ordered, she didn't read the description to know that it's sized bigger. If you're like a medium, you need to get a small. So, and she's smaller, so she had got a small and I knew that wasn't gonna fit her. So she changed her order to get something else. And I was like, okay, you know, I just packed it. And this was on June 19th. So message her about being a brand ambassador on the 18th. She 19th put her order in and I shipped it. So like I'm quick on my end. I'm making sure that everything's run smooth for you. Like I'm really trying to do this for real. So then. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so I went and got my laptop because I forgot I changed my Facebook password. Okay, June 23rd, she got the pack. Cause again, the way that the package and how I had to send it, it was priority shipping. So she got it. She let me know that she had the clothes and asked me how to lace up one of my dresses, which I'll put a picture of the dress on the screen, which does not come laced up. So I sent her basically how to lace it up. And then she let me know that one of the dresses that she had didn't fit her, you know, tightly. So she was like, you know, can she send that one back? And I was like, sure, you know, you can send it back. And in the next package, I'll just send you five items instead, you know, to make up for that. Cause I'm sitting here thinking like, we're about to have a good, you know, working relationship. You're messaging back. You're keeping me updated with things like this. This is going to work. So she asked me what address to send it to. I sent her how to return items back to me. Nothing after that said. Now we're in the month of July. <laughs> so July 6th, she messaged me that she's working with a professional photographer so she told him that she wanted to take pictures with him in the clothes and would that be okay and you know i'm like of course that'd be fine like professional pictures that'd be perfect because I've, I've had a brand ambassador who does perfect anytime i send her anything she posts she does it all her first time working with me she took professional pictures which i love looked very good and went on the website so i'm like that'd be perfect like you know great and that means i should have pictures lie again like was you really working with a professional photographer for anything? Or were, like, what was, you know, you're, you just getting more time? Like, are you like, what's up with all these lies? Just, come on. And I still have yet to receive the first dress back. I reply, you know, great. Love that. Again, that's July 2nd. August 24th. <laughs> August 24th. I messaged her and I'm like, hey, I was wondering if you had any pics in any of the outfits that I sent. It could like some that could be posted either on Instagram or on the website. She messaged me back saying, thank you for, for reminding me. I posted one fit on Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook story, but I never got a chance to really wear the clothes out anywhere. It's probably better if I just send them back to you because I don't know when I'm gonna ever go out again. I have been so busy. I'm so sorry. So she says she posted it on Snapchat story, Instagram story, and Facebook story. The only one that's valid in my opinion is the Snapchat story because we agreed on actual posts, not story posts. I needed a post. So I, I accept the Snapchat, even though the pictures that she posted were trash. Like it was, that's not what you, you take for brand ambassador pictures. The pictures that you sent me during the application is type of pictures that I expected. Nice quality, clear pictures, not the mess that you posted on your stories. I let the Snapchat one slide, but the Instagram and Facebook story, I did not count in that because that's not what I asked for. So I'm like, you know, there, no problem, no harm, no foul. Okay, that'll actually work great. Just after shipping the items back, if you could send me the tracking on here so I can do the online return stuff for you to make it easy. Because on my website, to return things, you have to do it online so that I have the tracking information so that once I get the items, I can, like, per people actually purchase. Once I get the item back, I can start your refund and give you your money. So I'm like, you know, if you just ship it and just send me the tracking number, I'll take care of the rest and we can just go on about our merry day. So she said, okay. I'll ship it Thursday, which is my next day off. Remind you, this is August 24th. The next day, she says how much was the outfit that she wore. Because she wore it a few times 
and she feel like it would be wrong to send back worn clothes, which I'm glad that she felt that way. Told her just to send 25 and send it to the cash, the store's cash app. And thank you for being honest. Like y'all, I'm being nice, I'm being professional. Like, you know, like, I appreciate it. Sure, this is where you can send the money to. No reply for that. September 2nd, I messaged, hey, have you sent the items back yet? No reply. September 4th, I send question marks. She replies to me on the 4th. I haven't. I've been busy working nonstop this week. I'm going to send it back. I haven't forgot. I just missed the post office hours with my job being from 7 to 7. They'll be sent back for sure, though. At first, I wasn't going to accept that because you told me the following Thursday you will be off to send the items back. Then I get the items back. So what did you do on your off day? I work every day seven to seven. You don't have time. Like you can literally put the package together and stop by the post office to get it shipped off. Cause not everybody know how to create shipping labels at home. So I understand that, but you work every day, seven to seven. Like you can't catch the post office during no type of break, no type of nothing to send these items back. You have no off day during the week, like nothing. Like I just, okay, I ain't even try to fuss. Okay then. I told her, I just, I said, I'm just checking up because I didn't get an update after the Thursday had passed. But you can send the money for the short set, like you said you would, to this cash app, I sent it again, and the tracking info to me after you get it shipped so I can keep up with everything. Thanks again, all right? Now we in the month of October. <laughs> We're in the month of October now. So this was recently, so this was the 8th, October the 8th. I messaged her saying, any updates on the returns? No reply. So I messaged again Saturday night, no, Saturday morning. And I said, at this point, you can just pay your order total. The invoice was recent and the total is $100. It can be sent to this cash out. If I don't have it by Monday, I'm gonna just go another way with everything because I've been patient enough already. You got these items in July. We are now sitting in October and I have no items, no money, and no pictures or no videos, no, no nothing. Like what we agreed on, I have nothing of. And I've been like, yeah, I've been nice, so nice. So I'm just like, okay, we're just gonna go another way. Which my way was, I'm about to go do a small claims thing because at this point, you're trying to. So now let's get back to the pictures. Cause this is, now we on Snapchat. Cause I feel like at this point you're ignoring me. So I messaged her and I'm like, are you ignoring me? Are you ignoring me? You know, I'm trying to keep this off social media and from, you know, having to go to like a, a court about all of this. So she was like, if you've been messaging me on Facebook, I don't really be up there like that, which she do cause she posts on her story and stuff. So I'm like, okay, yeah, sure you don't. I don't be up there like that and I barely check my messages, you know, so what? So I sent her a screenshot of the last message I just read about, you know, any updates. And at this point you can just pay the order total because you have the clothes, you wore them, just send the money for them if you're not gonna do what has been asked of you. Cause the month being passed, the month that we agreed on being passed. So I'm just like, like, what is it? She replies, she said, why would it be a court issue? If you gave them to me for free as a trial to see if I would be a good brand ambassador, I couldn't fit 75% of the pieces and I did post the outfit I could fit. Okay, y'all, excuse how I look, but I'm editing. And like, as I'm watching this, it's just funny. So just, okay, right here. So in the beginning, y'all seen that she said three out of four items fit, just one didn't, and she was gonna send it back. Now that I'm voicing like, at this point, send some money, cause you're not doing the job that you said you could do and you don't wear the item. Now is that those items don't fit except for the one that she wore and I've seen that she wore. So you guys see what's like, what was getting me frustrated, right? Like it's the lying, the lying. <laughs> So I don't see how it's a court issue or a business issue. Now I'm only saying that because of what you said, not trying to blow it up into something it's not, but I'm just trying to see how it's such a huge issue. Do you have a personal problem with me or something? Which goes back to the beginning of a personal problem because me and her cousin do, don't communicate. I, I guess that's where the personal issue come, come from. Cause how could the business thing that we have not, you have not completed your end of have to do with this, like how can that be personal? So I said, I replied because I'll take it to small claims where we had a business agreement and you did not keep up with your end nor pay for the material. Just let me know what you want to do, please. It's been months with no images, 
or my products or money for the product. Trust me, this has nothing to do with you. I gave you a shot to do something and you failed through multiple times. Just let me know what you want to do because I could have been solved this a long time ago. Cause it could, it could, it could have been solved a long time ago. Cause again, you messaged me saying like, you could have updated me to say you couldn't fit anything except for the one outfit you took a picture in and you barely posted. You could have said that. I tried to fix it the first time that well next month if you do good this month we can do that but again no pictures no nothing you you did nothing nothing is an agreement i gave you items in exchange for, i did not give you free items for a free trial if you read like how i read it to y'all that is not what happened <laughs> that's not how this stuff works if fashion nova send you items to see how you work they're not sending them to you and be like well if you don't like it you can just keep it and go on about your day no, plus I'm a small business. Like I'm trying to to do something. I'm like this isn't me just donating you clothes. So I'm like, what did you like, girl? What? <laughs> so I had posted on my story, and I was like, if it's business, it could never be personal. So she went and she posted on her story. If it was free, it was free. Again, you're confused. She was very much confused. So I sent her a screenshot of the agreement that she agreed to, and. She said, okay, isn't that what I just said? And in court, if you give something for free, you cannot demand it back like that. She, she's missing, that's why I'm like, maybe the girl's slow. Maybe that's what it is. She can't comprehend. Cause all this free, this was not a giveaway. This was not a donation. This, that's not what that was. That's why I'm, if I do do brand ambassadors, I'm thinking about getting contracts just so that it's very much explained in detail. So there's no room for you to be confused about what is going on. Cause I still don't understand how she's so confused about what the world. So she was like, you're just going off on me. No, you're just going off me saying I will send it back and I didn't. It's not a valid case or claim. Basically she didn't want me to take it to court is what it sounded like. She was, she just like trying to get me to not go to court about it. Even in that message you that you just sent where you did explain that it would cost me money if I didn't get good feedback from my social. I don't know what she meant by that. Honestly, when I was replying, I didn't really read it. I'm just like, at this point, you're, you're doing all of this. When there's simple solutions, pick one while you're doing this. It could be that simple. Okay, y'all, uh, so basically like watching it and, and like actually reading it because as i said i wasn't reading her messages fully because i'm just like there's no point in this like why are we going back and forth when you can pick simple solutions to fix the problem but anyway basically she was saying that i didn't say that if she didn't get good feedback from her social media when she posts the pictures and the items that she would have to pay again it's the comprehension for me you didn't there was no social media post for you to get feedback from, for me to be like, okay. I don't expect my brand ambassadors that I pick to post a picture and an item and it sell out or for the picture to go viral. No, that's not the point. The point is I'm trying to get pictures and products to show my customers that, you know, what they're purchasing is what they're gonna get. Instead of them looking at something and thinking, is this actually what this person is selling or will it look like this? That's the point of my brand ambassadors. I'm not at that stage where I'm just trying to, you know, blow up or go viral or sell out or whatever. That's not, that was not the point of brand ambassadors for me. So her saying that it's like, you're, are you reading it? You made no social media posts to get feedback from to complete the job. That's the whole reason that we're having this conversation because you didn't do your job. <laughs> Y'all, this is like, is it me that's not comprehending? Like, it's like, I can't. <laughs> and she was like, at the end of the day, I'm going to do what I said. I would do which is send them back in the drop box and send you a video. And that's it, problem solved. And I'm like, you keep saying that and giving yourself time to do it, but you're not doing it. It's, it's really that simple. If I tell somebody I'm gonna send something back or I'm gonna send you something, within the next day or two, it's gonna be in the mailbox that you haven't tracked. But I guess everybody just don't work like that these days. So I just said, we'll see and thank you for your time. Cause I'm not about to keep doing this back and forth thing. I'm like, this is just, it's, we've been going back and forth, pl like basically playing tag since July. Like it, it's getting, it's getting real childish at this point. Like if you knew you was to up and do a job, you shouldn't accept the job. But anyway, so today, I went to do all of that stuff. I'm like, whatever, like, I'm just about to go ahead and go to these courts and just figure out what they think I should do because at this point, I'm tired of playing with you. 
So I go and I go to them and I I explain to them like, hey, I want to file a small claim against Amani and I want to know what's the steps to take and all of that stuff. So I went to my um to my office in my county because I first of all I read the thing wrong. <laughs> I realized, I thought they just said, you know, it's going to be handled in the city of your business, but it's, you know, for the defendant. So when I went there, they explained to me everything to do and where to go. And the lady was like, you know, you have a valid case or whatever, but for what you're going to sue for, because I didn't, like the extra stuff, I really didn't care for. I just was like, you know what? She wants to play. I just want her to give the money for the items because it's done been months. The items that she got is like in a whole nother season. You know, I really don't care to have the items back anymore. So the lady was telling me that to file the claim is around eight dollars. Like all, once you get everything done for it, it's like eight dollars. And she was just like, I really want you to think about it because in the end, you might come out paying more money on top of the fact that this girl don't ran off. You know, just just think about it. So I'm just like, okay, let me think. Because honestly, going to court, it's, it's not about the money, which I want her to understand. On my end, at least, it's not about the money. It's the principle. You knew what I was sending you items for. If you knew that once you got the items that you couldn't do nothing with them, you could have just been like, hey, I can't do anything with them. I'm going to send them back. And if you couldn't afford shipping, hey, I can't afford to ship them back. Is there a way that you could, you know, send me a shipping label? No problem. No harm, no foul. We could have been squashed this and had it finished. But, no. <laughs> it's dragged out here. So, I was just like, you know what? Obviously, either she needed the clothes more than my business did or she needed the money more than my business did. So, that's product that could have been sold to somebody else versus me sending them to you for no reason. You feel me? So I was just like, you know what? Obviously she needed one of the two more than my business did. So I'm gonna just leave it where it's at because you know, all this running around and stuff, y'all I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm pregnant. So I was just running around and I got a call up in her county so that they can do all of this stuff. You know, all of that is just too much. It's just like, you know what? But what is worth, is just not worth me running through all of this and stressing myself out getting myself all amped up and mad but so i'm just like okay bump all day we're just gonna have a story time because it's a good story time to let people know if you're if you're a small business and you're thinking about getting like brand ambassadors and stuff i highly recommend that you get them to sign contracts work with people who you've seen actually do good work have a good work ethic and that every time that you you know see them talk to them if you know them personally or just you know see them on social media that they're they're what you're you're they're doing what you expect from a brand ambassador to be doing, and I should have did that. But no, but I'm gonna just take this as a lesson because again the the money in the product is gone. You feel me? I don't want that stuff back because it's she don't wore it. She don't wore it. <laughs> you don't wore it. You don't wore it and ran errands. You probably don't wore it on these little trips you don't took. Who knows? So I'm just like, I don't want the products at this point. Honestly, my motto, I wouldn't resell it to my customers that do not deserve no worn clothes that you don't know, worn and partied and walked around and went to Walmart in. So like, I don't want it. This is, you know, for the money, it's really not worth it. It's just, and so I'm just like, I'm gonna just do a story time to get my lesson learned, to know how to move forward. Again, get you a contract. Make sure you work with people who you feel like gonna do right. And just have everything. And explain it more. Because some people just don't know. They can't comprehend this stuff. Being a brand ambassador and an influencer is not for everybody. And you can tell when you talk to people. I just was giving her the benefit of the doubt. And should have just not. So that's my lesson. Learned. So that's my story time. Again, small business owners. People who want to you know, start a business. Or you're looking into getting brand ambassadors. Learn from my mistake. Just learn from my mistake because last thing y'all needed to be stressed out with these people who scam like i never would have thought that she would have been a scammer but hey we're here now so yeah after this video is posted and i do my little promo for the video i'm done talking about this i'm done with the girl she'll be blocked on all my stuff i don't want to see her i don't want to hear about her she'll be blocked on everything so hopefully you guys learned something from the story time hopefully i did too and i move better in the future if you guys like more story times for me make sure you like comment and subscribe Right. leave your opinions and how you feel about the situation down below what you think maybe because maybe i misunderstood maybe i maybe i'm in the wrong <laughs> oh 
Okay, that was a joke. Anyway, but leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. This is Sin signing off. Peace.